Just let me know when you're good and we get this started. All right, one second. Uh, we lost connection with my man. He's going to have to come back in. If you guys are tuned in, it's your boy. I'm live with your man, Aaron Williams. But I think some connection went through. So let me let me see if we can get Aaron back on. Because he went outside to get more comfortable. And I think he lost connection there. So hopefully he knows to set, him, set himself back up and in this. Um, if anything, yo, we're going to wait. I think you might be back. Okay. Here. Did I, did we good. Did I, am I good? We good, son. All right, man. What's up? What's going All right. On? Ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Rico back at it again with a special guest in my man, Aaron Killmonger. <laughs> uh, I had to hit you with it. Okay, you <laughs> you guys don't know what I'm talking about. My man, my man Aaron's rocking that Killmonger look. I guess yeah, some, of the, some of the ladies was like, yo, my man's looking nice. I mean, <laughs> explain, explain to us about the hair first and foremost. Man, I was inspired by Michael B. Jordan, man. Honestly, when I got when I saw Black Panther, I was really feeling the cut. Like I've never seen a haircut. I was like, yo, I gotta rock it. But when I saw that, I was like, damn, I've always wanted to get dreads as well. So Okay. I had the opportunity. I was already had the, the Pro Hawks and I was like, you know, I'll just keep growing it. And then it got long enough to where it got twisted and then it locked up. Then now we're here. And the thing is the the whenever hair is present, it the the opportunities are endless. Look at my man Deion Sanders. My man Deion Sanders has some kind of miracle grow. I don't know what he's doing, but he's got the fate. He's got the hair back. You know what I'm saying? Brian well, Erlock has got the hair back. Hair I, I, I Listen. Don't know if anybody notices it, but a lot of people are growing their hair out. I'm not sure if y'all just 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 watch. A lot of drugs are popping All right. Up. So I'm just going to explain to everybody what we're doing here. Listen, ladies and gentlemen, this is my man, Aaron Williams. If you guys don't know, it's the, the former safety of the Buffalo Bills. My yeah. man, taking some time uh, to, you know me, to hang out with the fanatics, the Buffalo fanatics. And I appreciate your time. So without further ado, my man, what has Aaron Williams been up to? What you been up to, man? Man, I've been traveling, been mentoring, been having speaking engagements. Um, really just trying to get used to and adjust to this retired life. Uh, I have a lot of free time, so it's something I'm not really used to. I'm used to always being somewhere at a particular time. Yeah. But, um, but now I have the opportunity to just literally just wake up and just feel like and just ask myself what I want to do today. So um, it's a blessing. Um, you know, there's it, it sounds really amazing, and it's, it is. It really is amazing. Is it, After though? While, it gets – you got to get something. You got to pick something out because you'll go insane just doing nothing. So oh, um, man. it's still adjusting, man. A lot of people would like to be in that retirement mode, but not just yet. You feel me? Because yeah, you know, like I'm telling you, retirement. like I'm not a guy. I, I, I'm not a guy to be like trying to boost anything. Like this retirement life is awesome, but it's like if you don't have anything to do, like a hobby or like something you're passionate about, it'll, it'll make you go a little insane. Hold on, what is your hobby though? What are you What are you doing? What's your hobby? Man, I'm I'm trying to get into acting, a little modeling here. Okay. And there. Um, just trying to pick up little projects. Um, go out to L.A., Atlanta. Um, do some stuff there. Um, so yeah, man, just try to connect anyway. I, I, I hear that, but anyways, you're actually gonna be in Buffalo on Thursday. Um, Absolutely. yeah, yeah, that's right. So, explain to the people what you're gonna be doing. I think you guys you're gonna be at the uh, Gaji, right? Gaji, yeah, in the Galleria. Go um, ahead, man, plug it, plug it, man, plug your stuff, yeah, man. 4 30 to 6 30, uh, right before the game. If everybody wants to come hang out with me before they get crazy, um, I was gonna go out and do the signing and go to tailgate, but I want to do it for a real game, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do that yet, but. I want people to come hang out with me, uh, the gallery at 4.30, 6.30 on Thursday, and then go to the game, go cheer those guys on, and have a great rest of the day. I appreciate that, man. Listen, man, let's get let's get into football. Can we talk football? We can talk football, man. Let's do it. Listen, man. Okay. Two, three, Aaron Williams. I, I've always wanted to ask this question. When you're playing the corner position, you came out of Texas. You came out of Texas playing corner, and I liked your corner, man. You're a big, tall boy, and then we made the transition to safety. Do you find there's a big difference between from corner going to safety? Did you like that transition? Did you feel you needed to stay at corner just to prove that you could do it? Or are you like, you know what? I'm going to do what we have to do. Man. Um, well, for me, obviously, it was it's, I got to do what I have to do. I mean, it's my role. And this is what they decided. So I got to do the best I, I can. But I, I, initially, when it first happened, I was a little upset because I feel like they said I couldn't do my job. But... Mm -hmm. You know, giving a chance and, and actually just going out there and just having fun and just taking the opportunity and running with it, um, man, it was a lot of fun. I, I'm really glad that Mike Patton, the D, uh, D.C. at the time, moved me to safety. So 
Yeah, man, it, it was a. It was, I remember my first practice. It felt so smooth, so natural. So I like it. something in me, and, and it was. It turned out great. Having having a big safety is what we needed. We needed a safety over six feet at the time to kind of really uh, have that swip. You got you need those sexy finesse hips. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? But come gotcha, down. Yeah. You got to come down and hit it hard. You know what I'm saying? So I like that. I like the fact that you're able to do that. that. So I appreciate that. Wifey's uh, here showing me love right now. Oh, we can't even see your face, Aaron Williams. You got to show what? your face a little bit. Yeah. I'm looking people, at my face. The people want to see your pretty face. I, I mean, I don't know how. I'm, I'm looking literally at my face right now. All right. Hold on. Let me see if I can help out. Let me see if this works. There we go. Listen, we back on it. So <laughs> okay. corner to safety. You make the transition. You feel good. All right. So now the transition happens where, OK, football is now turned over and, you know, you turned over a new leaf. Transitioning from every day, getting up, eating the same meals, working out, all that stuff. How's that transition happening right now? Now you don't have to get up and work out. You don't have to. You don't have meetings. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to carry that. Yeah. clip. You feel me? So how, how's I mean, that? transition? Yeah. I mean, it goes back to what we were talking about the entire life. It just. You make your own schedule now. I mean, it's just like whatever you want to do. Um, it's it's weird because I'll wake up and I'll be hungry and I'm used to like going to a facility and having it ready for me. But now it's like I got to go to the store. I got to get prepared. I got to prep it and everything. I cook it myself. It's a lot. It's a lot of work, man. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, it's man. Because you gotta you gotta cook for yourself. Yeah, you gotta cook for yourself. <laughs> I mean, it's not bad, but it's it's just something new. And you know, when something new happens, it's just something I, you got to adjust to. I appreciate so, that. Yeah. Now, you did mention something that I think uh, is crucial because you said in your time off, you want to be able to try to mentor these young players and, and be there for them, especially when they don't know what's going on, how to handle situations. So one tough situation that's happening right this second, that's happening right now with these young players, is that they're getting the chat saying, you know what? Uh, based on roster moves, we're going to have to let you go or do whatever. I don't know how the lingo goes, but what do you say to these young players that when they do get that not so great news, how do you bounce back and, and kind of keep your confidence up and knowing that potentially I got something going, but I got to keep my confidence up. What do you say to them? How do you, how do you transition? I mean, there's, I mean, I had a lot of people cause I was going through the same thing. So I had a lot of people give me a lot of speeches, but I remember hearing a quote or something and it was like if you were drowning would you and you had the opportunity to like save yourself would you go and try to swim somehow and save yourself or would you allow yourself to drown that's how i feel about news like bad news or something that doesn't go your way yeah it's something it's like un it's uncomfortable and it's like it's it's you have a, a bad feeling about it but it's like it's not the end of the world it's just like a learning experience it's something you can learn from it's something you can strive for them. It gets some, it's something that can just motivate you to to go back and, and fix or whatever it was that that person didn't like or something. So, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just like you, you have an opportunity to, to continue it. Don't let that bad news affect it, because if you stop, you just killed yourself. You know, you can't blame nobody but yourself. You know, what I'm saying? does man does management have like when I say management, when I say like, your representation, a player's representation, do they have a lot to do with how you recover onto your next team? Are, are they pushing hard enough for you? Do you feel, do you have to have the right people around you in your corner or is it a, a person? Is it the player that has to grind out and do what he's got to do? No, I mean, you, a player has to go, and I, every every player is different. A player has to go with what, what he feels best for himself. You know what I'm saying? It's nothing, it's, it's nothing like, yeah, I can I can go and do this, but it's like what's best for me, and I feel like that's misconstrued in a lot of things for fan to player uh, views. No, I hear that. Uh, let me ask you this though. This is off the cuff now. This is like not football related, and I'm gonna tie it in. All right, my man Demel. I, I don't know if you know, I'm Canadian. I'm from Canada. Okay, hey, shout out. Yeah, you shout know out. Gonna, I, and I know you Americans. You love Canada. I know you guys I like to travel to Toronto. I love y'all, man. Shout I knew out. it. Yeah, so absolutely. check this out. My man, De DeMar Rosen, DeMar DeRozan got, you know what I'm saying? He got sideswiped with some yeah. information where he got swapped out, okay? Yeah. Does he have a right to feel some type of way? Absolutely. He does? 100%. 100%. Do you think they did a, is it? Because you know, players know the business side of it. I know the business. Yeah. Like, I've, it's a different feeling. It's like, man, you got to understand, when a, when a player puts his heart out to the city, and, and I'm sure he's done more than what he has done on the hardwood. I'm sure he's done stuff in the community 
and done outreach stuff for a lot of things that in Canada. I may not know. You live there, so you, yeah. you can tell me. But I'm sure it was deeper than just basketball. I felt like he had relationships all around to where he felt like, okay, I know this is where I'm going to be at. Like, I feel good. Like, this is home. And then Listen. to get the news the next day and be like, eh. I mean, I, I understand. You out of here. Same feeling. I have the same feeling, but it's just. Unfortunately, it is business, but at the same time, it, it sucks, man. It's terrible. Okay. So now here's how I'm going to transition it. You ready for this one? Yep. So you get the news that, you know what? The bills are going separate, a separate direction. So you obviously, it hurt Buffalo Bills fans because we were all here. We're like, whoa, we didn't expect that to happen. So now you're looking for other places to go. Mm-hmm. And you went to the Texans yep. to have a look, see how was that experience to be around different people for the first time in, in so many years? Um, it's, I mean, it's really not that different because at the same time, you got to understand, like in the off season, we kind of just run into each other a lot. Like a lot of us go work out with each other um, from a, all sorts of different teams. So you'll find a guy, you'll find two or three guys you'll know and you'll meet other new guys. But I mean, to, to just go and do, with a different team and see different people, at the end of the day, it's still football, man. You know what I'm saying? I was ready to just to just to strap up those pads and and get on the field. I really didn't care, you know, who I was around. That's, or, that's my guy. You know that's saying? my who, guy. <laughs> who who has been here? I'm trying to get a spot and I'm trying to ball out. So, you know, for me, it was like, okay, I already know a couple people on this team. So, you know, if I make it, you know, I'll I'll make my relationships then. But right now, it's all about business. I'm 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 here to show them what what I can bring this team. So, I, I mean, like it. This is my mindset, though. I appreciate it. Now, I'm getting some messages from people from Facebook. They can't really see your face. If you could tilt that camera, because the Dang, ladies are wanting bro, to see Aaron know. Williams. Camera is like super small. If like, you could tilt it towards you, tilt down, it. yes, like that. Now they bro, can see. Like, okay, so look. Right now, <laughs> when I'm looking at the screen, I only see my chest. That's okay. They can see okay, your face. Okay. You can so, see this okay, afterwards. Cool. All right, we're good now. They want to see right. Killmonger's face, man. They need to yeah, see. I don't know. So, so I, okay. So, so now, now let's get into. All right, cool. I like it. So let's get into this now. Have you been paying attention to the Bills roster this year? And you can't tell me um, you have a little bit. A, a little, little bit. bit. I yeah. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, I'm not. I'm not heavy into it. You know, it's, it's my situation is still new to me, so I'm still a little salty. So I don't really pay attention as much. But like, I catch glimpses every now and then. I, I respect it. Yeah. Um. So it's probably gonna be tough for me to ask you a few questions then. Maybe because you're not as much paying attention. So. You obviously, you obviously know that the Bills drafted a quarterback. Yeah. In Josh, Josh Allen. Allen. Yeah, Wyoming. Okay. Okay. So you are paying attention. Okay, I got you. Yeah. So yeah. you got Josh Allen, Adrian McCarron, and Nate Peterman. Have you been paying attention long enough uh, to know who's ahead, who's not? All I can say is they're lucky I'm not on their team right now. Because okay. You know, okay. That's all I can say. <laughs> okay, I'm I'm gonna leave it at that. Yeah. Um. So. That being said, the league obviously is changing with all these damn rule changes. And I know you've been hearing it. I know you've seen it. Are we are we making this league so soft that you're like, yo, man, we, we need to stop? Or are you in favor of all these rules that are happening? No, nah, man. It, all these rules are, um, in my opinion, kind of increasing it. Because for me, it was like you had to watch what you had to do. And for a defender, my job is to take like take that guy down no matter what no matter how it's just to get him down so when you start stretching all these rules i mean it is yeah for safety but at the end of the day football has always been violent game no matter how how like how many rules you put in it is it's going to be violent you know unless you take the helmets off the game is going to be violent so So i got two more questions for you yeah I got two more questions because it's time sensitive. I don't want to keep you. And I, I respect yeah, yeah, the fact that you, you took the time for us. Um, have you been paying attention to the AFFL? The AFFL. I think it's the arena. Uh, the arena football. I kind of call it arena football. It's like flag football. That's happening right oh, now. Oh, you talking about the like the pro team? The yes, Chad Johnson. Thing. Yes. Yeah, you know my buddy Fred, Fred Jackson played in it, and a few other my friends all around the league played in it. And um, I was actually supposed to play in it, but I was like, I don't know if my body can can do all that. My man, we just we need to we need to see Aaron Williams back on that field, man. Man, I, I don't know. It, I I feel like we'll see. I, I I'll think about it because I've definitely thought about it. When I saw it, I was like, you know, I definitely can still go out there and play. Absolutely. But, 
And, and you brought up one thing. You brought up something, and I'm going to tie it in. You brought up my man Fred Jackson, and you're actually going to be with Fred Jackson, I believe, on Friday. On Friday, uh, yeah, yeah. Going to be the 716 uh, Sports and Bar Grill, correct? Correct, correct. You guys are going to be doing some signing and, and some autographing, so I appreciate that. If you guys are not aware, Thursday, Aaron Williams is hitting us at the Gaji. I don't want to butcher the name. Gaji. You're right. You I'm gotta, saying it right. Okay. The, it sometimes right. the Canadian accent doesn't let me get these things out, right? That's so, awesome. Gaji, uh, on Thursday, when my man Aaron from 4 to 6.30, I believe, doing some signing and autographing uh, right before the preseason game. And then on Friday, uh, he's going to be hitting up my man uh, Fred Jackson, Freddie J, the, infre- the Incredible Hulk, I like to call him, uh, the Incredible. Uh, but, yo, listen, I really appreciate the time you taking the time to hit us up at Buffalo Absolutely. Fanatics. Man, hey, can we you do know what? Again? You know what? We can do this interview again just because I know that – They've probably been looking at the ceiling. I don't know what they've been looking at or whatever. <laughs> so we can we can redo it because I feel kind of bad that we kind of had like a half interview there. Listen, man, I'm going to hold you to it. Um, And I really appreciate the time. Yo, listen, keep growing that hair out, man. Keep growing that hair out. I, pre- I, I, I love it. Listen, everybody's been watching this. They're going to watch it. It's going to be circulated all over the place. Uh, So we'll do it again. I'll, I'll hit up uh, your people and uh, we'll talk. And I really appreciate the time. It's your boy Rico. It's your boy Aaron. Uh, come on, oh, Williams. No. Good to see you guys. All right. Appreciate it. Buffalo Fanatics all day. We'll talk soon. All right, man. Later. Be easy.